for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. Please remain standing and say the Dragon Pride Pledge. Hi there! Today we'd like you to join us on a safari through Etosha National Park in Namibia, Africa. We're in for a great adventure! So just where are we anyway? Well, the country of Namibia is in the southern part of Africa. And Etosha National Park is in the northern part of Namibia. It's also one of the best places in Africa for getting up close to the wildlife. Most of the park is made up of the Etosha salt pan, which is like a huge salt desert. Etosha means great white place, and it turns out it's a very good name for this park. That's because it's mostly a huge salt plain with silvery white sand. This pan, or plain, stretches for more than 80 miles across, which is two times the state of Rhode Island. It's so large that we can see it from space. The park as a whole is much larger than just the pan, because Etosha also has wide open grasslands, which we call the savanna. It takes a few days to go from one end of the park to the other, if you want to see all of it. We happen to be here during the dry season, when it doesn't rain very much, if at all. When it's dry like this, the animals spend a lot of time at the water holes, because it's one of the few places where they can find water to drink. These water holes are part of what makes Etosha a special place to visit. Making our way through the park, we're going to see some road signs that we won't see at home. Who would have guessed that there's such a thing as a warthog crossing? You can probably guess that this sign means that elephants might be on the road and maybe blocking our way. This sign tells us to watch out for antelope. We're going to meet some of them along the many other animals that live here at Etosha National Park. Let's start with the bird family. These are called yellow-billed hornbills. Fans of the Lion King might recognize Sazu. This beautiful bird is called a lilac-breasted roller. Turns out, that it's pretty common here in Southern Africa. This bird needs no introduction. It's always fun to see an ostrich.
It's a great day to be a dragon. And all the dragons say, Roar! Roar!